All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dylan Golby again. I'm here with Roy up in Seoul again. Welcome back. Good to be back. Thank you, man. It's damn hot. It is damn hot. We are sweating. Summer in Seoul, baby. Hence the beers. And uh, we're here with a couple of bowls of instant noodles today because Fujifilm Korea has given us these uh, giant, what looks to be Provia or possibly Velvia, uh, but is actually Fujifilm instant noodles. Uh, they're using it as a promotional tool this year, which works very, very well in Korea. And we managed to get ourselves a couple of them thanks to Ogin at Fujifilm. Thank you, Ogin. Thank you, Ogin. So tell us about the ramen culture. I mean, you've been here for a long time. What yeah. is the ramen culture in Korea? Ramen is very much a part of Korean culture. People, uh, they'll eat them between breaks. They get very short breaks at school and work. So they'll run to the convenience store like we are right now, um, pick up their favorite instant noodles, boil them up and scoff them down in a couple of minutes before getting back to what they're doing. Um, it's also become such a culture that people will actually take it with them on their summer holidays. Which is coming up. Which is coming this. up. So this is why Fuji is doing this at this point. They're allowing people to grab a camera and a couple of uh, little packets of, of Fuji ramyeon to take with them on their holidays. So yeah. thankfully we managed to get a couple and yep. uh, we're gonna have some fun with them today. Roy, what are we gonna do with these? Uh, we are going to have a cook-off or a style-off, whatever you wanna call it. We will put that on the title later. But um, <laughs> so basically we're gonna play with the the Fujifilm ramen, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But first, we gotta eat something, uh, get some fuel. Whew. So we're done. How was it, man? Delicious. Mine was pretty Spam good. Spamalicious. Spamalicious. Right, before we get out of here, though, we are gonna open this up and see what's inside. So I found this little piece of metal here that I'm gonna use to open it. We're gonna cut through the plastic here. This is now officially an unboxing video. This is now an unboxing <laughs> video. Here we go. Okay. So we have Fujifilm. 43 grams a piece, 185 calories. There's six inside. They are, ooh, Irayong Chopkarak. It's got chopsticks inside. That's pretty good. We've got some further details on the side to comply with uh, Korean law. Then on the back here we have, oh, these are cool. The bottoms of these cups actually open up to go in your cup holders. All right, let's do Oh, wow, 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 Quang! All right. Oh, nice. Show, show, show. All right, yeah. here we go. So, if we put these onto uh, one of our social networking services, Facebook or Instagram, we have the chance to win something. Another box of things. <laughs> So I think we're gonna have to do that. Definitely. <laughs> uh, but you have to be eating them, so it has to be mongun mosep, right? So it has to be right. us actually eating these things. So definitely, we're going to uh, keep that. I'm gonna do that later. All right. Oh, these are cute. There we are. Mm. Oh, little tiny. See, here we go. Here's the bottom here. We can fold those out and turn them into a cup. That is pretty cool. Fuji film. Provia film simulation. Provia. They've even got a little tag on the side of them. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's that. Um, we also have these little uh, cup holders to put them in, so we can... Right. Provia 100F Daylight. 100F is my favorite there, not the 100. That's good stuff. Okay, there we are. I like it, man. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to work. All right, time to style these babies. The crazy part about it is there's 145 kilocalories in that. Ooh. Okay. Sounds good. Let's do it. Let's enjoy. See you guys soon. Hey guys, so welcome back. We just uh, finished up our ramyeon out in the heat, decided it was way too hot, so we were going to shoot back here at home. And, <laughs> and I had to change my shirt. Had to change my shirt. So excuse the, the continuity. <laughs> On this. But on our way home, we did manage to do a shopping trip for some quick ingredients that yep. we might need. And the budget was 10000 and we are way under that. We used six... 6700 6700 There you go. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, so what do we have? We have, uh, we have crab sticks. We've got some Vienna sausages. Both of which were 1001 each. Yep. yep. And we've got uh, some green onion. Spring onion? Green onion? 
think they're called leeks. The big leeks. Ones. Okay, it's called the pa. small ones. Are, yeah, they're called depa, right? They're called depa. There you go, depa. In wow. in Korean, big okay. pa. Big pa, which is a green onion. <laughs> 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 We have uh, some Chongyang gochu. Um, funny thing is the IP rights no longer belong to Korea for this, despite the fact that it's a Korean product. These were a thousand won. These are slightly spicy green chilies. And we also have some shiitake mushrooms, uh, pyongoposa in Korean. And we tried to pick one from the store that might have some that looked okay. Um, so we'll see how we go. All right. All right. And uh, well, this is how it's gonna go. We have, in the back we have Access to lights, modifiers, and we have, um, yeah, we've got, what, what are the modifiers that are available? Uh, so we've got a large white umbrella, a small white umbrella, we've got a large soft box, we have a soft lighter 2, we have a small soft box, we have a small octobox, we got a few, we got a couple of reflectors, nice. um, and we got six lights, so if, you know, Roy was asking if we could use more than one, so we'll see how we go. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and down there we have a black and white background that we, we're going to use for the final shots yep. and uh, we are going to rock paper scissors for who gets to go first right right so the good and thing about going first is well, well, I guess you get it done you get it done but the mm -hmm. bad thing is the other guy can steal your ideas your ideas and hopefully try to make them a little bit better so we'll see where the mistakes happen All right. <laughs> the winner gets to decide gets to decide all right here we go all right okay, bye, boom. Okay, bye, boom. that's it so I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say I'm going second. Oh, shit. I want to see your cooking skills, man. I want to see how you prepare these noodles. The pressure is on, <laughs> and I've been awake for like 24 hours. But he does get to choose the best of the uh, the mushrooms, Ooh. though. So I mean, that's uh, that's a positive. Yeah. Okay. Mm. We'll uh, we'll see what happens. Any thoughts before you begin, Mr. Goldby? Thoughts so far. Roy did an excellent job of shooting exactly what I wanted. Thanks. So <laughs> he's gone for a, a nice uh, a nice high-key look with some really good colors. It shows off the, the packaging. It shows off the food. He styled it really well. There's some great leading lines. So my thoughts on this is that I want to use pretty much the same ingredients, pretty much the same scene, but I'm going to go for a very low-key look. So I'm going to switch out this white background for a black one so that I can have a nice dark kind of look to this. Uh, I'm gonna try and find a black plate or a black bowl uh, and style my food on that and what I think that's gonna happen here is I'm gonna see some nice steam coming out of this but I'm also going to see a really nice set of rich colors um, and I'm hoping to have the Fujifilm uh, logos and everything in the background just a little bit uh, darker than everything else so that I'll be able to just get the hint of this is what we're shooting but show you the food really well so let's get at it. So I'm going to use a SMDB 70 centimeter dodecagon speed box, speed box 70, um, which is a smaller soft box. Uh, we'll start with this. If I don't like it, I might change it up. But we'll start with this guy because I want to control the light a little more than what Roy did. Roy was looking to get a bit of a spread across the uh, across the white background. I'm looking to basically keep that black background black and just have light on exactly what I want. <laughs> Nice if, if Roy has cut up the only nice looking mushroom.
So I'm going to use some steaming broth put into this measuring cup. Um, using a measuring cup not because I want an exact amount, but because I want the spout, and it's the only thing I have. If we had a funnel, I would use that, but I want to put the liquid into the, the plate, which is already sitting out there on the scene, um, on the set rather, without spilling any on the edges. Why the tripod? Why the tripod? Because I think that I'm actually going to need a second shot for the steam. The food looks really good right now. Um, what I'm going to try and do is give a little bit of extra vignette to the side of this by bringing in a flag. So, Roy, I'm going to need to borrow <laughs> my Medicon for uh, me, if I can. No. The, the 0.95, because I would like to shoot this at 0.95. No. Um, no. That's a no. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that statue makes a shot of it leave it in there. It's definitely a good homage okay. to the roots of instant noodles. Um, that would be a Japanese bear. There is some steam rising out of this, and I think that the way that I'm going to do that because currently the steam isn't really visible, is actually to bring in some incense. All right guys, so uh, this is the next day. Yesterday's final thoughts were a little bit scattered. We were pretty tired from all the heat, so I thought I'd uh, roll through this again for you. Um, so the decision to go low key for me was uh, two things. I like a low-key aesthetic, as you can probably see in a lot of my work, and also that Roy had gone high-key and I really wanted to do something that wasn't just a different styling, but a whole different lighting technique so we could give you guys something valuable out of this video. So, after setting up my light on the camera left um, and shooting it across the scene, what I found was that I wasn't able to feather it far enough away from the background that I would get um, a perfectly black background. And so I decided that I would go to a different lighting position. And the other reason that I decided to bring the light above the food was that the cup was quite deep and all of the food just was getting a bit of side light and I was getting sort of a very bright side uh, to one side of the image and a dark side to the other side of the image. And so I thought, well, what if I spotlighted that, that food? I could get light inside the cup, I could get light sort of all around the food, but then leave the edges dark with this sort of natural vignette because of the, the circular shape of that softbox. So I put the light above to give that a try and I found that I really liked that a lot better. So after I got the flash into position above and the exposure looking like I wanted it, the next step was to add a flag on the bottom left corner of the image. And the reason for that was I had the softbox slightly angled back towards the camera so that I could really keep the background uh, quite dark. And what that did was put the, the main center of the light or the hotspot of that softbox actually in front of the food. And so I was uh, causing quite an area of bright light around the front of the uh, around the front of the image so I used a reflector with the just the black side on it um, to shade some of the light and that's called a flag and so that was a second image that would just give me a bit of a natural vignette on the the cardboard so that it wouldn't look too fake as though I'd done it in Photoshop and the next step and also the reason that I put the camera on the tripod through this was that I wanted to be able to catch a second photograph of the steam. Now, the steam wasn't really showing up, uh, mostly because of the position of my light, and I didn't want to backlight the food because it wouldn't really look all that good for this sort of a scene, and so what I did was I put the camera on the tripod, shot a good photo of the food, got my photo for the vignette, and then I took, I brought in some incense, and the incense provides a sort of a, a thicker looking smoke, and when it's out of focus, it, it looks like steam anyway, so I use this quite a bit if I'm going to be just putting a little bit of extra steam into a scene. So I shot a whole lot of frames of that so that I could pick the one that I really liked afterwards, the one that matched up uh, with, the, with the concept the best, and then I took those three frames into Photoshop and I blended them together so that I could get the perfect rendition of what I wanted. Alright guys, so if you haven't already, please head over to Roy Cruz's channel and check out his video and photograph from this session. 
leave us both a comment to let you let us know which one you like best so we can talk a little smack to each other and I'll throw an extra challenge out to Roy here the winner buys the loser the next round of beers thanks again for watching guys please subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up share this with your friends if you think they might find something useful in here thanks again Thank <laughs> you.